European Space Agency says that it has managed to successfully land a spacecraft on a comet some 500 million kilometers away from Earth. And of course, this is a first. Following this story for us from Paris's Cité des Sciences is France 24's Eve Irvine. Eve, I imagine it's a moment of great joy for all the scientists gathered there. Indeed, and even the, the dozens of people gathered here in the corridors of the uh, Paris' Science Centre, a large round of applause went up. Almost hard to believe, and there was even a slight hesitation with the difference between we saw the images of the scientists celebrating in Germany, and still they hung on. Even President Francois Hollande is in the in the auditorium watching those images. We had to wait for the scientists here or see as well in Paris to tell us they have pulled it off. The first ever landing on a comet. 20 years of work. They have that cherry on the cake that they were hoping for. You know, back in 2004, uh, Rosetta, the mothership, was blasted into outer space. 6.2 billion kilometers later, it's been ping-ponged around the solar system using the gravitational force of the Earth, of Mars, to get into that orbit, to circle around uh, this uh, comet, and now it's pulled it off. The big question now will be to wait and see, has it fully anchored onto that comet, and will the Philae be able to carry out the next couple of months of investigations? Looking at the compounds, exactly what comets are made up, because scientists, you know, the goal of this mission was really to look at these uh, space icebergs, if you like, that date back to the very origins of our solar system uh, some 4.2 billion years ago, and what many believe are indeed the seeds of life here on Earth.